This is Brett on behalf of Eventide. The Eventide H9 is one of the most powerful multi-effect pedals on the planet. It harnesses all the power of Eventide's legendary stomp boxes and harmonizer effects. Today we're going to talk about effectively managing your presets within the Eventide H9 control software. The H9 control software is pretty much the same whether you're using it on Mac, Windows, or an iOS device. For first timers, when you open the app, I recommend you check out the quick start guide by choosing settings, help, and then launching the guide. This will walk you through the steps in getting your H9 pedal synced up to H9 control. I recommend going through each page as it will really get you familiar with how the software works. There are a lot of different ways to manage the algorithms that you own. If you're not familiar with the term algorithm, just think of it as an effect. Or you can think of each algorithm as a different effect pedal, and the presets are different variations of the knob settings within that pedal. When you first install the app, and if you haven't created any presets on your H9 pedal yet, you will see many different presets with an F beside them. F means factory preset, and they cannot be overwritten. However, you can alter them and then save your changes as a user preset. User presets are indicated by the letter U beside them. You can sort your presets by number or name. As you can see here, if you save the preset without altering the name, it shows up in the preset list as the same name with either an F or a U beside it. This can be very confusing, especially if you alter the same factory preset more than once. To avoid this confusion, I highly recommend you naming your user presets something entirely different than the factory preset name. The third type of preset you might see is one with an S besides it. An S indicates that this is a stomp box preset. You will only ever see one S preset at a time on the screen, as this is the currently loaded preset on the H9 pedal. If you create your settings on the stomp box itself and want to save these settings to the app, press the save button. Doing so will then allow you to name the preset and it will turn it into a user preset. If you create a preset that has the same name as a previously created preset, a dialog box will pop up to ask if you'd like to update the settings for each copy of the preset as well. If you say yes, every version of the preset will be updated with the new settings. The final type of preset is a list preset, indicated by an L. You will only see these types of presets when working on your preset lists. Lists are a great way to organize your presets before loading them into the H9 pedal. For example, you might want to create a preset list for a rock band you're playing with this week and a second preset list for a jazz trio. Or you can take whatever is currently loaded in your H9 stop box and save it to your computer or iOS device as a new preset list. Just select the pedal on the left hand side of the screen and then save it to the H9 control. It's also important to note that when you add a preset to a list, it's adding its own copy of the preset to the list. It's not a reference to the original preset. But as we've seen, the software is intelligent and if you alter a preset in one list, H9 Control automatically searches through all your presets, finds the ones with the same name, and asks you if you want to update them. If you click yes, it saves the changes you made to everywhere the preset resides. If you want to make changes to the order of your list, and you're using either the desktop version or the iPad version of the H9 control, press the Edit List button. Pressing this will allow you to drag and drop presets to the location of your choice. Note that you must click the preset once to select it, and then again to drag and drop. If you're using the iPhone version of H9 control, first press the preset you'd like to move, then press the More button in the upper right hand corner. Choose Copy Preset, and then choose the location you'd like to move the preset to. And press Paste. For more information and tutorials on the Eventide H9, be sure to subscribe to Eventide Stompbox's YouTube channel.